What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Cobbler G here. So today's project, we've got a Loke 250B. Now these were repaired recently in another shop a couple of months ago. As you can see, the original sole wasn't um, stitched on when the guy done it. So it's just breaking apart. There's a few sides here. The heel top lift is just coming off. He's uh, also ground the welt right down, so we're going to have to do a full welt replacement. You can see he's also scuffed the hell out of the uppers as well. So yeah, full GR sole, full welt replacement, new rubber heel, probably build the leather uh, stacks back up for it as well. Be good to go. Alright, stay tuned to see how it turns out. Thanks for joining us today. We're now going to break down the shoe. So we're going to be taking off the top lift, the old heel block and the old sole. So as you can see, the heel block hasn't been nailed in, it's just been glued down. So that's the first step that was done wrong. Should be able to take the sole off quite easy as most of it's coming off already. So we'll just pop a knife in and just break all the glue that's all the way around. Should be able to just pry it up with our pincers. the old sole off. Snip off these old nails. Right, we're going to be replacing pretty much everything that's on the inside here. This is the old cork, so we're going to remove all that, clean it all up, pop some new fresh cork in there. Also going to remove and replace the, the shank. This one's wooden and starting to snap in a few areas. We're going to need to do a new heel rand. Uh, the last repair is the guys really, really, really ground it right down. So we put a new sole on top of that. It's going to be too close to the leather upper. And as I said before, a whole new welt. So let's get to it.
Gearing's coming quite a little bit loose from the inside as well, so we're just going to glue that back down once we've removed all this cork. Been glued down pretty hard after the last wee soap. Now we'll just break the threads underneath the welt where it attaches itself to the shoe. Now a lot of the time when we are resoling shoes, the weld doesn't need to be replaced if it isn't damaged. A lot of the time we can just reuse the original weld that's on them and then pop a new sole on top. But as you can see at the start of this video, whoever repaired these last has made a right mess of the weld. So there's no way that I'd be able to fit the shoe on the machine to do the new stitching. I guess that's why it wasn't stitched back on last time. So just carefully go around the whole shoe, taking off the old welt, breaking all the stitching. Comes off pretty easily. Right, I'll finish taking off the welt and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. I'm going to be removing all these old nails. Uh, they come from the inside of the shoe. So we're just going to use a hammer, hammer them all down so they come through and then pull them out from the other side. And they just come out easy from the inside. Our last step of breaking down the shoe is just to remove all the old welt stitches. We just run around the whole way around the shoe. We're also, once that's done, we're just going to stick this gemming back down with a piece of glue. And then we should be ready to stitch on the new welt. Again, this is another time consuming, tedious part. Sometimes you can pull them out from the other side, but a lot of the time they just get stuck. So, a good way to do it is just get a little awl. Just pull them all out from the inside and then it cleans up nice.
ready for the new stitches to go in. Okay, so the next step we've got, um, the old gemming is starting to come loose. So this is attached to the upper and to the footbed. So what we're going to do is just put a wee bit of glue underneath just to stick that back down. Leave that to dry for about five minutes and then we'll just stick it back together. Now it's weld time. So this is the weld that we get in for it. It comes in a neutral colour so what I'm going to have to do is just dye it to black to match the uppers. But before we do that I'm just going to get a rough guide of how much of the weld we'll need. So I'll just pop it around the shoe roughly. That'll allow me to see how much well I'm actually needing to use. more than enough. Perfect. Before adding the dye, I'm just going to use a sanding pad and just rough up the leather. It allows the dye to adhere to it a lot better. Let's give it a nice wee sand. And then we'll apply the dye and it should just go on perfectly. Now we only need to dye the top side here as the other side is going to be hidden by the new sole and everything else. So. so just going to use some Dylon leather dye in a black colour. Just going to apply that onto the welt, probably two coats, leave the first coat to dry and then pop a second coat on. I'll leave that to dry, come back in five minutes, pop a second coat on. Before we stitch on the welt, we just need to soak it in water. That allows it to be more pliable. Especially when you're going around the toe area of the shoe. It gets quite tight, so you need to have quite a bit of uh, give on it. So if we just soak it for a good wee while, allow us to stitch it on a lot easier. So now we're going to stitch the welt on. We've got our thread, we've got our awl and we've got our new welt. So the first step is just going to take the welt and punch the first hole through the welt and then through where the original holes were from when it was factory stitched. We'll take our thread Got it even on each side, and we're just going to loop it on there and pull it through the shoe. And then pull one side of the thread through so it goes through the whole shoe. And then we're going to make our second hole and then just punch that through the next hole. Loop it round again. Now we've got a loop here. So what we're going to do is pull the other thread through that 
and then fill each side tight. And that's our first, first one done. So we're going to go to the next hole again, punch hole through the well, through the upper, through the gemming, another loop, pull that back through and then pull the other thread through that loop and then again pull that so it's nice and tight. So we're just going to do that all the way around the shoe and that will attach the new welt on. I'll do one more so you can see how it's done again. Get the loop, loop it round, pull it through, bottom thread through, and then pull it tight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, give you a little time lapse video of me doing it. So the ends of the welt here, we're just going to skive them down, make the leather even thinner. So when we pop the heel rand on, it sits nice and flush. Attach the new shank. This is a nylon shank. Fresh rand to put on. Now for some fresh cork. So we're just using the cork to fill up any gaps in here so that we can get a nice flush finish for the sole to sit on top. The cork we have comes in wet so what I'll do is once it's applied to the shoe I'll make it as even as possible the whole way around and then we'll let it dry so it takes about half an hour Really press it into the shoe just to fill up any gaps that are there. Doesn't matter if it's bumpy at this stage because once it is dry, we'll sand it flush on the finisher. Ready for the new sole to go on top. Use a little bit extra than is needed so that we can get it right into all the wee corners, all the wee nooks and crannies. So we'll leave that to dry, and I think it's coffee time! Shout out to my SRI family, you guys know who you are. Okay, so we sanded the surface nice and flat, applied glue to the shoe and to the new sole. Now we're just going to heat this up in the heat lamp. So we'll heat up, so we're just going to apply it now. We'll try and get the JR logo as centred as possible.
So now we're going to use a ranger just to cut off all the excess leather that's on the outsides. So now we're just going to sand this flush with the welt, ready for the next step after that. Okay, so now we're going to use the groover tool, we're going to groove a channel all the way around the shoe, ready for the stitching to go in. So now it's time to stitch the shoe, got it on the machine, all ready to go. So that's the new sole stitched on. I'm just going to use the uh, handle of the hammer 
just to try and close the gap a little bit on all the stitches. Now we're getting ready to attach the heel. Uh, I've got a couple of pieces of leather here. I'm just going to pop this onto the sole, pop a wee mark along it just to make sure I know where the position of the noose uh, heel block is going to go. sand this on the machine just to rough it up for the glue to attach to it. Okay, so the next step, we're going to have to uh, work out the pitch of the shoe. We've got the new heel blocks and the new top lift all attached together. So as you can see, if we attach the heel just now, that's how it's going to look, which is totally wrong. So what we need to do is, using the machine, using the rough band, we're just going to cut this at an angle. So probably from the middle here, and then a slight angle up the way. Uh, we'll do that a couple of times, pop the shoe back on just to make sure that it's working, it looks good. He was glued up and heated up, so we're just going to attach it now. Now we want to get the GR logo as centred as possible. Now using the heel press, we're just going to allow that to sit there for a couple of minutes. That will ensure that the heel block is super tight. So as you might be able to see here, the heel is just overhanging the edge. So we're just going to use the finisher, use the rough band again, smooth this down to match where the welt and the leather sole is. We're going to do that all the way around, make it nice and flush.
just going to attach the heel block even further. So we've got here some threaded nails. We're going to nail these in from the inside of the shoe and they're going to allow the heel block and the upper to really uh, be nice and tight together. Some extra security. My normal hammer can't get in here so we're using this one. I'm just going to pop in the heel pad. That'll cover up all the nails. Okay, so the shoe's all inked all the way around. Now we're just going to smooth it all off and add a nice finish using the brushes here. So now we're just going to add some brass nail decorations into the heel block. I've already punched some holes, evenly spaced apart. Makes it a lot easier for you just to pop these in and they'll sit nice and flush. Okay guys, so that's us done with another project. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
here's the end result. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.